Okay, time to get back into the groove of things after just experiencing such a kind of a small lull in my life. Um, I've been doing this for about a month or so. So we should probably think about finishing up um, the last chapter of this game. Maybe do some post-game, post-game troubles and whatnot, and then take care of um, any future LPs that I have, which are kind of dwindling in number, besides maybe Pokemon material, because to be frank, to be honest, guys, I, I, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm just, I'm kind of experiencing LP fatigue right now, and I mean, there's just something in my body that's just kind of making me feel kind of unmotivated to do this. And it's not that I don't like Thousand Year Door. I this is probably the best game in the franchise, but I just I don't know. I'm just I'm I'm experiencing something that just seems to be kind of similar to CFS or something. I I don't think I have CFS, but it's just work is kind of bringing me down a little bit, you know. And I'm just kind of burned out, you know, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it happens to everybody, especially to LPers who have a, you know, who have a uh, night job or a day job or whatever. In my case, it's a night job, so, but yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of thinking about maybe just switching gears here and just maybe, just maybe doing more live streaming than LPing, besides just, R again, RPG work, you know, if I were to do Super Paper Mario, or maybe just Pokemon Emerald, anything else down the line, um, um, I'm probably just going to be doing pre-recorded stuff of that, and focus more on live streaming on Twitch for basically many more console projects that I probably might have in mind. But anyway, let's... Right now, I'll get right back to the game here, and let's talk to Professor Frankly before we open the door. What kept you, Mario? Well, it doesn't matter now. I don't think they're in the vicinity anymore. They must have found another way to get through the door. And that was it. Oh yeah, well, which, by the way, also, while I was off-screening, I managed to do some work in um, the casino, and... Um, where am I? Where's my gear? Yeah, I actually stocked up on a whole bunch of Ultra Shrooms and Gem and Jellies just from winning the the games at the casino upstairs, you know, in the parlor. And I combined some of them to make Jelly Ultras and Ultra Jellies and whatnot, you know. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. I don't know what I'm rambling on about. Saved a few, um, just individual Ultra Shrooms and Gem and Jellies, and I have three Life Shrooms that I bought back at Far Outpost. And let's not speak any more of that place, because General White is going to be haunting me in my dreams. It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold aloft the last Crystal Star. Now, I would have loved to finish up the Pit of 100 Trials, but unfortunately, meeting Bone Tail was just not going to was not going to be because again I haven't really beaten the pit anyway I just I haven't been I haven't beaten the pit when I first played this game I think the farthest I ever got got I think the farthest I ever went down there was up to maybe level 80 it was, it was about the same place where I lost on camera here so yeah I had to go back down you know get the strange sack again and double dip and those were just basically my two consolation prizes and I just decided to stop there. L look, the door! Oh, are the stars shining upon the, or rather thy metal cap? If I had a metal cap? I think the only person who has a metal cap is Metal Mario. And Metal Mario is not featured in this game, nor is this a Smash game. Okay, a strange purple aura just is just blowing us towards the door here. What was that? At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. 
before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world. You must rescue the princess and stop this catac cataclysm. Yep. Come on, Mario! Onwards! And I... Yeah, I did. I actually did heal up on everything. So, yeah. Let's actually go through now. And Professor Frankly is just going to leave us behind. You have just been denied entry. Because you are an old, senile, mm, pseudo-intellectual pedantic professor. <laughs> Chapter 8. The Thousand Year Door Salvage Planetary Asian Story Laboratory. With a chandelier and just really already creepy music. Well, here we go. Thus begins our final journey here. <clears throat> this place is freaky, but we don't have a choice, Mario. We've got to get in there and save Peach before this gets, gets out of ha hand. Come on, Mario, if I can stop stuttering. <clears throat> because reading while stuttering is no excuse, in my opinion. Because I should be able to read the words on the screen without ha ever having to just say it in spurts. Now... Unlike the first game, I don't think I'm going to be dividing this into three parts, you know, like I did with Bowser's Castle back in the first game. Hello, Stepwatch. Um, because... If I can remember, this this level is pretty long. It's probably even, even longer than... Yeah, here's the swoop. Here's the swoop that we encountered down the pit. Than Bowser's Castle. So, let's just kind of take things a little bit here, just baby steps, one step at a time. We'll get this done in a few weeks, and we'll be saying goodnight. But it was still a fun ride while it lasted. Already venturing downwards while we get some coin on with the show and get some get some tip money out of this because I've been just, I'm a starving street performer who has just not bothered to get at least one dollar today from practicing out in the park and just performing in front of nobody but pigeons. Okay. Yay, more bats! I thought keys were bad enough, but nope. Great. Defeated four bats for the price of one... <laughs> the price of one showstopper. Get that coin, there we go. Not that it's really that much of a va of value anyway, since this is the last lake here. And I don't think we will be encountering any shops down here either, so... If you guys didn't stock up on anything up, you know, above ground, then you're kind of out of luck. Shooting star, uh, I can trade that for the stopwatch. Hello! Standard Dry Bones. This is the tougher version of Dry Bones here. So let's get ready here and let's just... Let's cause a whole world of uh, anatomical pain. Voila. Okay, so we have bats and Dry Bones so far and I'm hearing cannon blasting, so we'll probably be r running into some bullet bills as well. So let's get ready for that. Great, so where are the Bullet Bill Blasters? Are they up ahead? Are they going to be down? Yep, it's going to be one of these rooms. We're just kind of formatted where we're supposed to go down. And the further down we go, the more Bullet Bill Blasters we will encounter. So that's going to be wonderful. Come on, blast him. Blast him, Bob Ray. Thank you. Blast him, Admiral Bob Ray. Not Halsey. Okay. Are we gonna run into? Oh, okay, we're gonna still run into some dry bones here. Okay. Um, I think that'll be that'll be good. Still, there we go. And that was a close one. I need to heal up Coops. Which hopefully, maybe in this next turn, I will be wasting a sweet beast. Yeah, here we go. Oh, okay now. Now all the bullet bills here are gold clad, so let's... Actually, you know, I, I think 
we can set Coops out right now, and until we get a level up, I will be using Goombella. So let's just try to dodge all of these. Or rather, you know, now that I say anything, now that I utter a word, we will be doing this. Fun. Very, very fun. Haha, <laughs> that's how to take care of these guys, even if they only have 3 HP, but with a pretty high defense. And yay, let's recover that measly little flower point that we just lost. Okay, I guess we'll be going through this barrage. This executor barrage, even though we're not facing an executor. It's more like a gold-clad executor. Okay, made it all the way to the cannons, and boy do they look golden. <laughs> they look like they were furnished Fort Knox here, jeez. They just look so solidified, so... so valuable. It's just something that is just valued at such a high price that they would sell very much a softies. Maybe not a softies, but just like... They're just... It looks like some, something that a rich person would use. Some rich millionaire, millionaire would use. Okay. That one goes down, and unfortunately... Oh. Well, uh... Well... Actually... Mind if I cheese this fight? I think we should. I think we should probably cheese this fight here. Oh yeah. Take a look look at this, guys. Yeah, that's how we do it. That's how we explode three enemies at once. Oh god, that was so ultra powerful. I'm very glad I used Bob Bombast. Because that was talk about I mean that was pretty bombastic. But it was still Come on, I mean, it was, it was just, we we were able to annihilate three enemies on the screen here. Come on, throw me a bone. Actually, let's take care of you. Because I can handle the health. I can handle the health deterioration right now. I just hope I can get my flower points back before the level up, so then I don't have to waste a sweet feast. Well, either way, those golden cannons only gave me 10 coins, I, which you would think that they would have been a lot more worth it, you know. They would have been a lot more worth of something, but nope, they're just only t worth 10 coins. It just comes to show how very cheap this game can be. <clears throat> All or nothing, yay! Hit action commands, attack rises, fail, it drops to zero. Would be really useful had I had have a lot more um, badge points. Yeah, four badge points. So let's just. Oh, oh! I did not see that coming. So great, we now have Zelda mazes here. We just have Zelda-like mazes. Something that just basically escaped from Wind Waker. Okay, so this is a fine welcome here. We just have all these bats just waiting to just trying to swoop down on me like the plus suckers that they are. Dang it. Come on, come on, swoops. There we go. You get whack a dude in the snout because it looks like a snout. Hooray! Not hooray, because we have to... Really, game? Really? You had to give me a cheap... Cheap act like that. Just have that flower point just sit on the spikes like that, jeez.
Stupendous. And Goombella gets hurt in the butt. In the goom butt. Anything more here? Can I... Okay, so we need to go northward now. Just, you know, go one... Basically one space over, you know. If you were to just imagine this as a staff of some kind, you know, as a musical staff. If it's a space spell face and yay, say block! Yeah! Awesome, man. Fire bars I do not like. I do not like, I do not like these guys one bit. Um, but yeah, with that, I think we'll be ending it right here. So, yeah, once again, this is just going to be opening up to a lot of things here. So, I just, you know, after after doing this for so long, I should probably maybe do one video here for this. I mean, I'm recording this for the week of August. August 25th, so... Hopefully we should have more videos for the upcoming week, so let's see here. Let's save one more time because, you know, I'm just all mentally paranoid right now. And we'll be doing some more movements of this next time. Next time when we will be probably doing an Allegro con Foco because we see some Foco right in front of us here.